Hey guys, welcome back to Z Code System here on YouTube. Great to have you back here with me. I'm Drew, and today we're going to take a look at the Premier League picks for Match Day 35 coming up this Sunday, May the 9th. And a big game going on this weekend in the Premier League, and that is Manchester United taking on Aston Villa at Villa Park. And we're going to talk about that game and a couple of others uh, going into this weekend. Of course, you can always go over to Z Code System and get up to date on everything we have there and check out all the picks that we post throughout the week on the blog, as well as check out the website, or excuse me, check out YouTube here uh, with all the videos we also post here for the various picks that go along with the blogs and some other additional exclusive stuff. And of course, we have some great things that go on every week at Z Code System, other than just the sports picks, such as the Z Code System massive giveaway. You can go onto the blog and you can check that out and see just what we're giving away there. A new iPhone, uh, some different things going on that are going to be up for grabs. And all you have to do is go to the blog at zcodesystem.com backslash blog, and you can read up on how to enter and hopefully walk away with one of those great prizes that are up for grabs. So guys, as I said, we're going to talk about the Premier League today here on our YouTube channel, our YouTube video. So we've got the blog there, but what I'm going to be talking to you about or showing off here is the Soccer Buddy tool, which is one of the great tools we use at Z Code System. And I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, as you can see right there in front of you, we've got the Soccer Buddy tool open and I'm just going to narrow this down. We've got May the 9th, that's Sunday. Uh, we're just going to narrow this down to the English Premier League, which uh, we'll be having uh, four games on the day on Sunday. And here are the four games that are going to be going on on Sunday on the 9th of May. And I'm just going to hit the hot trends uh, tab there, which gives us a trend. And this is our trend here that uh, we've identified. And that is we are five to six for predicting totals over 1.5 in games with Everton in their last six games. So uh, that is something that you might want to get on this weekend for your sports betting. And as we can see there, Everton taking on West Ham in a really big game uh, that will dictate and have a lot of impact on the teams making the European qualification or excuse me, the European tournaments for next term. So like I say, we've got four games here and let's just start with that big one right now. Manchester United taking on Aston Villa at Villa Park uh, in Birmingham. And this weekend, uh, Manchester City uh, can wrap up the Premier League title with a win against Chelsea at home. And that is going to be a big game because uh, this week we saw both Chelsea and Manchester City book their places in the Champions League final coming up. Um, I believe it's going to be the beginning of June, um, but they have booked their places for that tournament. Actually, maybe it's going to be the end of May. I'm going to have to check on that one. Um, but um, both those teams will be playing each other um, in the Champions League final, but they're going to be playing a league match this weekend. Of course, you can use the Soccer Buddy tool to check that out and, and to get the pick there that we will we have posted already. Um, I'm not going to show it to you here on the video, but you'll just have to go to the Soccer Buddy uh, app and use that. Um, but uh, if Chelsea are able to beat, or excuse me, if Manchester City are able to beat Chelsea, they will uh, be crowned champions. Uh, Manchester United are hoping that doesn't happen. They're going to be hoping that Chelsea uh, can pick up a victory and as well as win against Aston Villa to keep hope alive, that slim hope that is, that they will win the Premier League title. Now, Manchester United, they lost on Thursday night in the Europa League semifinals to Villa uh, to Roma 3-2, but it didn't matter because they won the tie on aggregate and will play in the Europa League final against Villarreal coming up on May the 26th. Um, now, they're taking on Aston Villa. Uh, last three games, Manchester United are unbeaten against Aston Villa. They've drawn once and won two games, including the reverse fixture earlier this season, which was 1-2-1. Two to one. And we've got that same scoreline prediction coming up here in uh, on the Soccer Buddy, um, the Soccer Buddy app. And to be honest, that looks like a great scoreline win for Manchester United. Aston Villa are not for sure going to have Jack Grealish back yet um, in the team. He's missed something like the last 11 games um, and goals have been hard to come by for Aston Villa during that time. Um, Manchester United do have a player in great form right now and that's Edison Cavani. Uh, he scored twice last week uh, for Manchester United and goes in this game in good form. He scored twice again on Thursday in the Europa League. So if you're betting on or picking a player to score in this game, you might want to put your money behind Edison Cavani for Manchester United. If you want to go for the underdog Aston Villa, uh, you can pick out a player such as Ollie Watkins, who is in good form. He scored last week 
for Aston Villa against Everton. Uh, he goes in this game uh, playing very well, 13 goals this season. Um, but again, like I say, I like Manchester United in this game to be Aston Villa. Aston Villa are just too hot and cold for me, uh, while Manchester United have been very good defensively, and uh, they should pick up another victory. Now, let's look at this game, this West Ham-Everton game. This is a huge game. Uh, West Ham are fifth, and uh, if they win and Chelsea lose, they can draw a level on points, and West Ham could potentially, with uh, four games to go at the moment, uh, crack the top four and qualify for the Champions League for the first time ever this season. So West Ham going into this game uh, with a lot to, to gain. Um, by playing well. Um, Everton also have a lot to gain in this game. They are currently in eighth place and they too can qualify for Europe. Uh, the Europa League is where they can really qualify for though. Um, and so they're they're really going out for a win in this game. But um, kind of like I said with Aston Villa earlier, they are a bit too hot and cold this season. They've had a lot of chances to pick up points and win games, um, but they've come up short uh, many times, shooting themselves in the foot a lot of the time. Um, I like West Ham in this game. I think they've been playing very well. Um, they've got a player who who's really informed, and that's Jesse Lingard. Nine goals in 12 games since joining West Ham in January, and um, he's been nominated for Player of the Month in the Premier League for April, uh, second time, I believe, uh, since joining West Ham. And he's really revitalized his career. I like him in this game to maybe get a goal uh, or at least set one up. And I like West Ham to win this game. I like that 2-1 scoreline as well with West Ham winning at home. Now let's take a look at these last two fixtures uh, that will be going on on Sunday. And first off, we've got Wolverhampton Wanderers hosting Brighton at Molyneux. And this is a Wolverhampton Wanderers team who have played Brighton five times in the Premier League since uh, Brighton were promoted to the league. And uh, they failed to win each game. One win for Brighton, four straight draws. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see this game finish in a stalemate. Uh, Wolves have a lot of injuries and they have a very thin squad as well. So not a lot of uh, quality players for manager Nuno Espirito Santo to call on. Um, so I think that this is going to be either a Brighton win away or a draw between these two teams. Uh, unfortunately, Wolves just don't have the firepower right now to score goals due to the injuries. And uh, they'll be spending a lot of the offseason trying to rebuild this squad. So I'm backing Brighton or a draw in this game uh, between these two teams. Now to finish off, we've got West Brom and Arsenal. Arsenal were beaten on Thursday night in the semifinals of the Europa League by Villarreal. And um, yeah, they're going into this game with uh, a lot of disappointment um, around the Emirates. I don't necessarily like, uh, well, excuse me, I, Arsenal, um, they are ninth right now. They're going to miss out on Europe next season now that they've been knocked out of the Europa League. And this is just a team that's not that good. Um, they, they don't play that well uh, under Mikel Arteta, in my opinion. Yes, they won the FA Cup last year and they had a lot of promise coming into this season. Uh, but they've just they've just not been very good. And um, I think there's a lot of problems with the way that the squad has been built. And I just don't think that necessarily the um, the, the team uh, the tactics uh, have been working for, for Arsenal there. Uh, but they're taking on West Brom, who are 19th right now, and most likely going down to the championship, uh, going to be relegated. And to be honest, I like Arsenal to win this game at home, to bounce back from that Europa League the disappointment. Now, we could see a bit of a hangover from the team because, of course, like I said, they're not going to be making Europe. I think it's been 25 years since they last didn't make it into a European competition. So um, there's there's definitely a, a bit of a, a downtime right now going on in Arsenal. And, um, of course, that could... Uh, end with Arteta losing his job at the end of the season. But um, I like Arsenal to win this game, to beat West Brom, and to push the Baggies closer to relegation. All right, guys, so those are my picks this week and the picks from Soccer Buddy. Uh, let me know what you think here on YouTube and uh, the comments below. Also, like and subscribe to stay up to date on everything we do at Z Code System and everything that we post here on the channel. So, guys, I will see you soon back here for our next video on the Premier League on YouTube.